Everybody goes, what is your secret, man? What's your secret about business? What's your secret about this? What's your secret about that? You don't want the answer. You see his hands? Hard work, man. I'm not a magician. It's not magic. It's literally, you're going to have to wake up and you're going to have to sit there and say, today's going to suck. And then when that day is over, you're going to wake up again and say, fuck, the next day is going to suck. And that's going to be your life. Wake up every day, punch that mental time clock and say, this is going to suck. It's all on you. It's all on you. I'm gonna fucking make myself good enough. I'm driven. I'm obsessed. I want to prove people wrong. I'm a warrior. A warrior is a motherfucker who says, hey, I'm here again today. I'm here again tomorrow. I'm gonna be here the next day. It's a person that puts no fucking limit on what's possible. It's a brutal journey every fucking day. And it self disciplines everything. And that's all it's about, yourself. You're going to have to fucking suffer, man. It, this is how you get somewhere in life. To get to this light, you got to go through all of this shit. So a lot of us know that. I can get over here, but over here, man, this is much better. Because I got to go through this journey that is not fun. This, this from 20 to 100%. This shit in, the, in between is not fun. So everybody goes, how do you do that? You know exactly how to do that. It's all back down to a very primitive mindset of we just have to do. It's like breathing. Breathing becomes normal. Like we don't know that, that, that we're doing it. That's how you have to live your life. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says, no, you just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. Because to get to where you want to go, the amount of pain involved, the amount of mental pain of how many times you're going to have to do something that you don't want to do to get to where you want to go is going to be... It, it, there's going to be more times you do something that, that you don't want to do than you are going to want to do it. And that's, that, that's your new norm. And then once you do this over and over and over again, it becomes like breathing. I don't want to live this lifestyle, but to get to the other side of this, I have to. I failed more times than I can fucking count to set these goals, these lofty goals that I have. That's why the majority of this book talks about me falling on my fucking ass. Because that's what happened. But I always kept the fire burning, even in the biggest depressions of my life. I kept a what if and a hopeful mentality of tomorrow will bring another fucking day for me to succeed. Motivation only lasts for so long. And I call motivation crap because it only lasts for so long. Motivation is just that kindling. But basically, that, that motivation can get put out by a storm real quick. And a storm in our minds can be your job getting at you or you're not losing weight fast enough or you fail to test. And all these things that life bring you can totally bring the storm of life and put that one hour of fuel out. And that's motivation. Um, a lot of people who are hearing this right now might, might get motivated from my story or, or something I said, and they may want to go out and start running, and they may they, they they may put their running shoes on and they may make it to a quarter of a mile like I did the first time. And at a quarter of a mile, you may be fucking winded and extremely exhausted, and you may never want to run again, and your motivation may be gone because it hurt real bad. But a lot of you who are hearing this will go way beyond motivated and they will find a drive and a passion and an inspiration and an obsession. Many people in this world don't have the kind of drive to push them 
through things that are extremely painful. And that's why I talk about motivation and drive so much is that you want to be a person that life doesn't get in the way of what you have to accomplish. When you're motivated, life will put that kingling out and you will lose the spark and you will go right back down to your pathetic life. And you want to get to a point where no matter if you haven't paid your bills, if you don't have the right money, if your job's fucked up, if life's fucked up, you still do what you have to do to succeed in life. And that's what it's about. What I told his son was pretty much this right here. He asked me a question about, he wants to be really good at tennis. But what happens is after I play tennis for a while, I want to go play video games. You obviously don't fucking want it bad enough. I became obsessed. I became obsessed with being the baddest motherfucker that God ever created. Am I that? I don't care. I believe it. Once you become obsessed with something, obsessed, it's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay. Don't be all this stuff. People say you got to be balanced. To be the best in the world at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of fucking energy and strength that you have to pull it off. Then you get balanced once you become great. Why are you so daggone crazy? Because I'm trying to be the best I can to give you the best that I am. And it takes being fucking obsessed to where people think you're crazy. never understand what is wrong with me. And that's why I'm so fucking glad you don't because I'm in the right fucking spot. When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. It's all about mindset. That's it, man. You have to change the dialogue within your head. And one thing I guarantee you, there's some stat out there about January 1. All that kindling that, that you started, all that motivation, usually burn out by about 10 to 12 days later. So let's see how far you can yeah. take that shit. Motivation is it's kind of a strange word because it doesn't really mean what we think it means. We think it means that we're fired up to do something. We think that it means we're eager and passionate to make something happen. And we think that somehow we should just be able to turn on that eagerness and turn on that passion. But we can't. Because you just can't turn on passion. You can't just turn on the desire to execute a task. So to motivate someone is to explain to them why they're doing what they're doing how it will help them, where it'll take them, why they should continue to work and to struggle and to fight. And when you need motivation yourself, don't look for someone to scream and yell. Don't look for someone else to give you motivation. Look at yourself. Look at yourself and remind yourself.
why you are doing what you are doing. Remind yourself that this struggle, this temporary pain, this fight, this fight that you're in, this is what will make you stronger and faster and smarter and better. And then with that motivation, go forward into the fray, into the storm, into the heat of the battle where victory is forged. Become obsessed with being great. It changes everything.